Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So, let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Doodle Lines. As always, I am using the same 1920 by 1080 resolution. At 30 frames per second, you are free to choose your own setting. Now, let's import our footage first. You can use any clip you want. Place the clip onto your timeline and then create a new solid. Let's call it Doodle. Make it to the comp size, and then hit OK. Let's hide this layer, so that we can see our footage. Here I am going to doodle this glass. I am using this footage because this video doesn't have the motion, so that we don't have to trace it. Now let's start tracing it. Go to the tools, and select Pen Tool. Let's zoom in a little, and start creating a mask around it. Make sure Doodle layer is selected. For creating a curved mask, keep dragging the mouse, until you get the perfect curve. Try to create the perfect mask, so that it will look best. You can always adjust the mask by playing with the handles. For making a path handle shorter, press and hold the ALT key on your keyboard, and then change the position of it. And it will follow the handle direction by itself. Let's finish this up. Here our outline is complete, let's create the mask for the lenses. Follow the same step, and here we have the mask for the first lens. Let's do the same for this second lens as well. Cool. Now let's create another mask for the lenses. For this mask, I am just filling up the lens, by creating a zigzag type of mask. Now, for breaking up the continuity of the mask, select any of the anchor points, and now you can make these lines for the second lens as well. Perfect. Let's select this layer once again, and then press M, to open a mask. Select all the masks, and change the mask type to none. Let's turn on the visibility of this doodle layer, and then, go to the effects and the presets, and here search for the stroke effect. Apply it onto the doodle layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First of all, change the paint style to transparent. And now we can see our footage layer behind it. Let's hide the mask by clicking here, so that we can focus on our stroke easily. Check the All Masks option. Then go to the first frame. And add a keyframe on the start as well as the end section. Change the end value to 0%. Then go to the 2 seconds forward, and change the end value to 100%. Also, change the start value to 100% as well. Cool. Now press U, to open keyframes. Here at the start section, select the keyframes. And start dragging them to the right. Something like this. Now select all the keyframes, right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant, and select easy ease. 
Open Graph Editor, select the end keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. In case your graph doesn't look like this, right click here, and select Edit Speed Graph. Switch back to the timeline, and now our animation looks like this. Cool, this looks good to me. Select your doodle layer, press Ctrl plus D, and make another two duplicate of it. Now we are going to keep our every stroke in a separate layer. So let's do this. First, I'm going to change the name of the layers, so that we can find them easily. Now select the outline layer, and here I am going to keep only the outline stroke. Let's turn on the visibility of the mask by clicking here. Now whichever mask you select, it will show you in the project display. As I said earlier, I am going to keep the outline mask on this layer, so let's remove all other masks from it. Select them and press delete. Now do the same with lens layer, press M, to open a mask. Keep these two masks on this layer, and delete all other masks from it. Perfect. Now select the glass layer as well, press M to open a mask. Keep the zigzag mask here, and delete all other masks. Cool. Let's hide this mask value by clicking here, and now our animation should look like this. Perfect, this looks good to me. Now we're going to change the colors of all these masks. Let's minimize them first to get us some room. Select the top layer, and change its color according to your need. I'm going to keep the green color of it. Select the lens layer, and change its color to a different color as well. Select the bottom layer, and change its color as well. Perfect, let's add some glow to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer. And here change the glow threshold to 10%. And change the glow radius to 100. Cool. Now select the glow effect, and press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate of it. Now we have this perfect glow. Let's minimize both of these glow effects, select them, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Select the doodle lens layer, and press Ctrl plus V to paste the effect on it. Now select the doodle glass layer, and paste the effect on it as well. Cool, now we are going to change the blending mode of it. If you don't see your modes tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key is racist, then f*** it, you should love everyone. Now right click here, go to columns, and select modes. Now select all these doodle layers, and change their modes to screen. Cool. Our animation is complete, I will see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. I know you are not watching this, but if you do, I am coming live on my channel, in beginning of the February. So keep watching, and keep supporting.